Hello guys, it is I, AVA for a fan, I'm gonna do another tutorial. I think this is literally my third time doing this tutorial, it's the muzzle, fla it's the muzzle flash tutorial. For some reason, I can't find it on my channel or something, I don't know, but I really can't think of anything right now, so I'm gonna show you how to do a muzzle flash, which is gonna have a muzzle flash and smoke, and it's gonna be done using pictures. Um, I googled muzzle flash on Google and mm -hmm. I'm going to get one of these muzzle flashes right here. And I'm also going to be using a smoke talk thing. Um, how I found this was I just went to Google with the images and did dust puff. And it popped up right over here. It's a really small picture, but I don't really care. So anyway, we got the two pictures, and we're going to have our video. Let's play the video. It's going to come out like this. I don't know how well that played for you guys, but it, it looks pretty decent. You know. So, we're going to go in Sony Vegas, and we're going to restart completely here. Okay. So I'm going to just go to my project media, I'm going to import the video of the gunshot. And I'm just going to trim this up real quick. Okay, I'm going to go key by frame, Blah. key by frame, frame by frame over using the keyboard until the gun is fired. And it's gonna start off right here. Alright, so now I'm gonna drag, um, let's start with the dust. I'm gonna drag the dust in, and I'm gonna make it about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe 8 keyframes long. First, um, go over two keyframes on it, and do the fade to offset. So it looks like this. Anyway, now, right now we're gonna set it to add so we can see it really good on this bright footage because later we're gonna set it to screen, but on screen you can hardly see it for the editing purpose, so we're gonna set it to add. I'm gonna go to event pan slash crop. I'm gonna shrink it down some. Or a lot. And and this is about how big I'm gonna make my muzzle flash, so I'm gonna drag it to the end of the barrel. And now I'm gonna go over to the end here. And I'm going to make it bigger. I think I'm making it bigger. And drag it. To a new spot that way it kind of moves as if actual smoke you can change the angle some too don't change it too much now i'm going to try this keyframe to the end okay so when we play it it's boom and the dust looks like it's actually moving and if it disappears too fast and you want it kind of linger around a little bit longer you can just lengthen this There's a smoke. So I'm going to go ahead and set that back to screen. Now I'm going to drag the muzzle flash in itself. And right now, I'm going to make it two keyframes long. Because I, you sometimes one keyframe looks good, but sometimes it's too fast and the viewer can't even see it. So I usually just stick with two keyframes. I'm going to set it to screen. I think I'm going to set it to add. When it's a bright sunny sunny day, I'll, I usually set it to add. It gives it more of a glow. I'm going to go into event pan slash crop. And I'm going to make it smaller. Well, yeah, make it smaller. Ah, oh, see, see how annoying that is? Sony Banks is cutting me off, but there's like an invisible wall. 
I don't know if you can see that right there. Alright, we're gonna go to track motion instead. Let me reset that. Alright, go to track motion and we're gonna do it this way. I don't, I don't know the actual size of what a muzzle flash should be for a rifle like this, but I'm just gonna do it or makes it look more cool. Cause that's the way to do it. So now we got the muzzle flash with the smoke. Um, if you want to make the muzzle flash look a little bit cooler, you can go add some glow to it, change it to like a light orangish, bring the intensity up. And the glow percent up. And then that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. All you gotta do is go to maybe soundbible.com or somewhere and get a free sound effect for a rifle shot or whatever you're doing. And uh, maybe to finish it off, I'll add a color correction. I'm just gonna go to levels and choose the reset to none and change it to these lichens. And it just kind of darkens the footage, gives it a more war type look. But maybe your war movie is a comedy, so you're gonna make it all bright and happy and corny, but and fruity. If you're a fruity type of dude. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Maybe I can get some interesting stuff. Six minutes? I just spent six minutes showing you how to move some smoke around the file and talk about fruit. Okay, um, good night.